They watch hurricanes from space, sending back these amazing images. But for one astronaut on the International Space Station, this view had a very different meaning. Both hurricanes, Harvey and Maria, have changed Joe Acaba's life forever. Yeah, this astronaut's home here was flooded in Harvey. And then another hurricane, Maria, has devastated his family home of Puerto Rico. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard joining us live in the Clear Lake area with this double devastation for a NASA astronaut. Ryan. Bill, and keep in mind, while people here at home have been cleaning up, he wasn't even in the country. And this time around, he's not even on the planet. As Hurricane Harvey flooded Houston, astronaut Joe Acaba was in Russia, preparing for his launch to the International Space Station. These engines now ramping up. Acaba's Houston area home flooded. His neighbors and NASA friends went to work. Luckily, there was an army of folks in the Houston area, um, a lot coming from the Johnson Space Center that helped clean out my house, um, started yanking out walls and going through the drying process. After the storm, when everybody was still shut down, nobody was doing anything, they came over with uh, Full crews, I mean, there were 10, 15 people at a time. Organized effort, everybody getting together, taking care of Joe. Lifting off and now on their way to the International Space Station. Akaba launched from Kazakhstan last week. He is now on orbit more than 250 miles above Earth as his family in Puerto Rico faces another disaster. He is the first astronaut from Puerto Rico. My parents were born there, so a lot of relatives, cousins, godparents. Acaba spoke from the International Space Station this morning as Hurricane Maria made landfall. I hope everyone's doing well and that you take care of yourselves. A message of strength for Puerto Rico and a message of thanks to Houston. When you can help people out, it really means a lot, and so I personally know that. Very true. And his neighbor said, really, this NASA army of volunteers moved in, got the work done, and moved on. You can imagine that's what NASA does best. We're live today. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Ryan.